Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and today I'll be showing you a new feature in After Effects that I love, which is being able to pick whip layers for alpha mats. Now, if that doesn't make sense, what that means is you can always have a layer on top of another layer, and if you hit this transparency box, it will only affect the pixels of the layer underneath of it. But when you have a really big composition with a million things in your layers panel, you can't always do that, especially if you're working in 3D compositions. So now being able to pick whip a layer that works as a transparent, transparent alpha mat, you now don't need the layer that you're using as like a texture to be right on top of the layer that it's affecting. This means this layer could be anywhere in the composition and if you use this pick whip it will only affect that layer. So I'm actually in After Effects now. I hit my red ball and I'll show you what that means. So I have this little animation I just made of my friend Tally here inside of the uh, Mona Lisa. Now what is this? This is the Starry Night. And so let's say I want her to be like textury, maybe old camera textury. <clears throat> For example, let me tell you the show you the hard part now. So if I wanted to grab, let's grab this house. Oh. So this this house right here, you can see I put it in my composition. Even though I put it as a 3D layer and I scale it up, and you can see this layer here, let me rename it really quick to Hallie. If I bring this clip um, on top of it and I hit this transparency box, it's not doing anything. What it's supposed to do is only then show up where Hallie is. Um, but let me show you. You can take this and you see this pick whip right next to track mat. If you grab that and fling it onto Hallie, you'll see now, I mean, how fucking cool is this? Let me make it full resolution. Now, it can only be shown where Hallie is. Oh, is that not cool? And so I'm now moving just that hill layer, but it's only showing up where Hallie is. <laughs> And when, we, when you watch that back, you can see how it's affecting everything. Now, again, why that's so cool is, let me um, undo this, this tracking marker. I'm taking this hill and I'm just making it literally exactly the pixels of Halley. So you can imagine everything you can do with this. You can put like a glitch texture on top of Halley anywhere in this comp. So let me get rid of that PNG. And by the way, you'll have to re-eyeball your, your person layer. Let me bring it back. So, uh, for example, where this comes in handy, um, I'm a I've actually been making like a video game thing recently with uh, my friend Lexi Limitless, and I'm using this effect that I'm showing you to transition between characters. Um, so here's a website I really like called Footage Crate, and I'll type in, uh, you can see that there's a textures and overlay and filters. Let's go to aged and, and, and vintage texture. So let's take this one, for example, this grainy retro TV overlay, and I'll download it. Again, this is footagecrate.com. We love them. Uh, it's super affordable and they have one so many free options that you would never even need to buy the premium version. Um, so yeah, it's my take. Alright, so now that we have this downloaded, um, I'm just gonna drag it into After Effects on top of everything. So now I'll grab this uh, texture and I'll bring it inside. Um, and you can see now that it's not doing anything. And again, let me show you why this is so helpful now. Originally, the way you would do this, uh, like let's make this a 3D layer, uh, and you would hit this transparency button right here, but it doesn't do anything. And it doesn't matter, um, I can have this grainy TV at the very top of my comp, so it's not even on top of the Halley layer, and I can drag the track Mac pit, the trap mat pick whip to Halley. And bam, look at that. Uh, now this old TV is only being applied to Halley. Now where this works, it could be way cooler than just um, only showing up where Halley is. If I duplicate the Halley layer and I only drag this track mat whip to the top Halley, now you can see that the bottom Halley is there. The top Halley is exclusively a layer for just this grainy TV layer. And just imagine like how much stuff you can do with this. You can put these layers anywhere and have your uh, character affected like this. Yeah, uh, and, and I've been dying for a feature like this. To make a texture on top of somebody in a 3D layer in After Effects has been traditionally really hard. I'd have to line up this layer with them in a 3D comp or duplicate the Halley layer and apply all these effects to just that. But now you can just, oh, it's so beautiful, guys. Uh, honestly, that's the tutorial. I mean, like, there's so much you can do with this. Imagine any asset you can make that's exclusively on your person. Um, and another thing is you could take this, for example, this current existing mask, um, and draw another mask here. And if I drop down M twice, and I go to the second mask and change it to uh, intersect, now only where this new mask is will Halley be affected. So we can feather the edges. Um, we could bring it down to 
like just her feet. So you can make it almost look like just the ground where her feet is, is like doing some kind of digitally static thing. And of course you can add another mask on top. Uh, and so you can just continually segment where you want this effect to be on your person. Ooh, it's just so good. This isn't a cool example. Like I can, like the cool example I'm thinking of is the video game I'm animating where it's like I'm using this to animate gl uh, like glitch textures on top of video game characters changing from character to character. Like there's so many ways you can use this practically in like 3D compositions and stuff. Very exciting. Good job After Effects. By the way, um, the sponsor of this video is of course Squarespace. So from online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Do you like numbers and graphs and charts? Well, Squarespace has amazing analytics. If you want to know who's coming to your website, who's buying your stuff, checking out all of your features and galleries and stuff, Squarespace has uh, the best analytics anyone could ask for. And I'm a dumb person, and so you need something that makes smart things like numbers seem easy and digestible to a person like me, and Squarespace has just literally the best and user-friendly analytics. And also, let's say you're a photographer. They have a portfolios and galleries option that is to die for. They have award-winning designer templates that you can put your photos in. So people can come to your website and you can have beautifully displayed portfolios and galleries of all of your work, making it easy for people to see your work and hire you. So photographers, get a Squarespace website. And lastly, and lastly, you can stay connected with all of your social medias via your Squarespace website. So if someone's coming to your website to buy a product, they could also find your Instagram or your Twitter or your SoundCloud. So yeah, embed your music, embed your fancy Instagram photos. And the sky's the limit. You can connect literally any of your socials to uh, Squarespace. So stay connected with Squarespace. Best part is guys, I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash wellcarmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope you learned something new today, and where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day. <laughs>